Hi guys from Baxa Rubiana, this time the podcast about peace and prosperity and about the Austrian tax reform. Today at the 3rd of October it was announced there will be a new tax reform, but unfortunately it's a big disappointment. Because Sebastian Kurz and uh, the um, EPP party, the People's Party, they have promised a decisive tax reform. A big agreement with the Greens, where the Greens get uh, what is so important for them, this high price for CO2, for fighting climate change. And they got it. <laughs> 55 will become 55 euro. That's quite uh, the double of what is in Germany at the moment. And so there is a heavy extra price, a real tax on energy. And of course, there is some softening measures approached, uh, attached to that. But the bargain, the idea of the whole coalition, the very substance of the cooperation with the Greens was that economic growth and economic actors will be, um, the tax will be decreased. The idea was that there will be a cut in cooperation tax. And now instead of 25 going to 21, which was promised, And actually, it was not so much uh, promised the high price of the CO2. No, no, no. They added more <laughs> in the CO2 <laughs> and uh, they decreased uh, the reduction. So instead of having 21 and whatever, 35, yeah, they have now added uh, 55 on the one side and 23 on that side. So honestly, it's a big defeat for Sebastian and for everybody who is interested in economic growth in prosperity, in having people employed, in jobs. This is a basically a destructive tax uh, campaign. It's a high tax, uh, a tax increase uh, for the population. It's a massive uh, problem. And I'm very disappointed uh, that Sebastian in this uh, weekend, he was uh, basically, because, you know, ultimately, he, what is important for him and where's the real deal? Because it's not so much uh, the economic reason uh, together with climate change. That would be the reasonable agreement. No, um, Sebastian Kurz's political career is about closing uh, Austria from immigration. He started in 2015 with this big topic, cutting the borders, closing the Balkan route and the uh, borders. And the whole time now, the last uh, six years, since he is in very top politics, uh, since he made this shift. He has basically closed the Austrian labor market. He has this very aggressive for, uh, minister of interior who is um, deporting people from Europe, from Georgia, from Albania, from Kosovo, and is very proud about it. Got rid of this Kosovo children, got rid of that Kosovo and Georgian and all these people. He, and basically the Greens say nothing about it in order to get uh, for everything for their climate change agenda. But uh, Obviously, then the Kogler will have remind him, I will support you continuously, but 23 is enough. And so we don't have a strong business lobby in Austria. The kind of low taxation lobby is very weak. And so we end up with such very shabby compromises, which are a very sad result. And that's, of course, a very negative reform for the future of the Austrian economy, for employment, for growth. It is um, this kind of, that's the danger when you don't have a good agreement in a way, a good understanding that every side gets a lot. And then you have these mixed agendas, which um, uh, Sebastian Kurz always has. What's more important is the support for the Greens for my anti-immigration agenda or for my low tax and economic growth agenda. Then he thinks, ah, anyhow, in the chamber is my friends, in the FAO is my friends, in the chamber of industry. So basically he thinks, Mm, then with these guys I can deal, they will not be happy, but I can deal with all these uh, economic actors. Okay, at least they get 2%, shall they be happy? And I have the support for the Greens, so I can do something which is in this populist turn which he took. It's very important for him that he can continue to expatriate and to repatriate uh, foreigners and close the borders. And the Greens make both, uh, they close both eyes. And whenever they would like to change that. But for them, the more immediate priority is to get all their pet projects in the energy transition, CO2 taxes, all the other things done. And so basically we have this not perfect result. Anyhow, it's better than nothing that I have to concede. It's better to have 2% cooperation tax 
then having no corporation tax uh, cuts and so basically then everybody will say okay whatever to do yeah this typical austrian and energy tax yeah climate change and we are in the mess and we don't really relieve our companies we have some smaller changes in the income taxation that is good we should actually have 15 percent uh, corporation tax and 15 percent flat tax for income that would be the optimum for uh, the result but obviously with this kind of meager results we are only very slowly gradually moving towards reasonable taxation levels and that's of course uh, very sad yes so far a missed opportunity but at least uh, some progress uh, two percentage point is better than uh, no percentage point uh, cuts so let's put a day optimistic spin no i'm not so optimistic on that one it was a i was already celebrating to have a low taxation rate but there is obviously only higher costs to come for the austrian economy and austrian um, place as a location to do business is worse off with a massive increase in energy costs and a very minor cut in corporation tax a missed opportunity bye